everyone. I am Lizette Markham, and I am here with my hubby, <laughs> Brian Markham. And we are doing a first impressions, but this first impressions is going to be a little different because I am a graphic designer by trade, and you... Oh, fill in the blank. I'm a web developer. <laughs> so this is going to be web developer versus graphic designer and our impression <laughs> of page cloud so i have not peaked i have waited like i think i got my um login about a week ago and it's been killing me not to have tested it yet but i didn't want to test it until i had brian here because we usually have <clears throat> philosophical arguments <laughs> about web design and so during this first impression you are going to get two impressions one from a web if developer, pretty if it doesn't work, and one from a graphic designer. Functional, aesthetic, yeah, functional and aesthetic. Let's see how Page Cloud so uh, does against functional and aesthetic. So, let's create something <clears throat> beautiful. Your personal page, Page Cloud makes it easy and fun to design the perfect personal page. Drag, copy, and paste directly onto your Page Cloud canvas to build a website that is uniquely you. Not kind of you or sort of you, not a template with you in mind, but you. Get ready to experience several world firsts that offer you a publishing experience never before seen on the web. Never before seen. Our greatest feature is you. Sure. In the driver's seat of a design that belongs to you. So let's see if Page Cloud takes our job. Seen it. He took our job. Get started. <laughs> Let's select the canvas. I had a thing on that last page. You didn't even try to click on it. It had one of those bubbles. It had a bubble? Okay, we're going to go back. <clears throat> what bubble? Right there. Oh, yeah. Oh, because it's going to, what, do a YouTube video? No. No, I think it's just going to. Once you land in the Page Cloud Editor, you'll be able to drag and drop all sorts of your favorite content from your desktop or popular websites onto your pages. So you can steal shit. Yay! <laughs> More copyright breaking. Hey, real artists steal. Get started. About the Page Cloud Canvas. The Page Cloud Canvas is what sets us apart from everything you've ever seen before. There are no grids, no boundaries, no limits to what is possible. Start with one of the beautiful canvases or start with a blank page. The choice is yours. I love the little blinking dots. It reminds me of, um, what's the video game you just had me play? I need water. Oh, excuse me. The one with the music, where you can make your own musical oh, sound shapes. Yes, it reminds me of sound shape. Sound shapes. It makes me happy. The little blinking dot, and it's yeah. purple. Sound shapes is nice. If you're a first time user, you should probably get started with one of your pre built canvases below. But if you're looking to start from scratch, choose the blank canvas on the left. What should we do? Should we be advanced, cause like a boss? Sure, let's go blank page. Okay, we'll scroll down just to show you guys though what some of the templates <laughs> on page cloud look like which is kind of ironic because they just, it just said, said not <laughs> templates <laughs> yes but we are not hating page cloud we are super excited to be testing this new technology yeah you gotta give people somewhere to start can you, you do. scroll those that are in there can you scroll those oh yeah. so you're already user testing their their website before we they're showing these scroll bars i just want to see if they took bad screenshots or you can actually scroll it you can actually scroll it yeah see that's what i thought fancy page cloud fancy i think it's gonna be really cool i mean like everything else that has come before it mm -hmm. i don't think it's going to ever remove the fact that you need actual developers for things but i think it's just another in between yeah like a more powerful thing that people can do on their own without having to need a developer <laughs> but <laughs> i ain't gonna lose my job over it your job uh no. i hit preview because what this thing can't because what would what, what page cloud absolutely can't do mm -hmm. is we don't know yet we haven't even tried this shit is say i have this company that's been around for 20 years and we are and we use these systems and we need a new website that works with these systems that we already have. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. Um, I also wanted to say, and I might cut this in at the beginning of the video if I feel like editing that much, that all of my WordPress, all of my WordPresses, all of my websites are on WordPress. 
how do you build sites? All over uh, the map, yeah. right? Just whatever feels good for the right application. I mean, I definitely like WordPress, but um, I also like doing things just straight HTML, CSS, JavaScript, if needed, or um, getting into uh, JavaScript frameworks, Angular, uh, Node.js, All kinds of Backbone. Stuff. WordPress. Yeah, you know, just throwing out straight PHP, whatever, like. Yeah. Are you, have you ever, have you ever used, or are you a fan of, um, what are some of the WordPress competitors that are by no means the competitor, in my opinion? Uh, we, Weasley? Weebly. 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 Weasley. <laughs> Sorry, no. Weebly. Yeah. Sites like Weebly. You've never used those, right? That's like another drag and drop system. You were shaking the shit out of the camera. <laughs> It's all good. I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, because you're not the one editing it. Nope. <laughs> uh, no, I have not used uh, Weebly or any of those other types like that. Right. Okay, back to what we were doing. So we're going to get out of that. We're going to start blank, though. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna do it like a gangster. Page cloud, tech preview. Okay, it's looking very Microsoft Word at the moment. Lots of purple dots. Lots of purple dots. We're going to click this one, tutorial videos. Click here to view videos of how to add widgets to your page club page. Mm, are you going to read the wanna... manual? <laughs> I am not going to read the manual. <laughs> Sorry, folks. Not even when they make it a video? Not even when they make it a video. Do you know the only time I use videos in these type of programs, um, like tutorial videos, is once I've already went kamikaze into the program? And then once I can't figure something out, then I go look at a video. You can switch back and forth between mobile and desktop mode to design a mobile view that looks great on all phones, tablets, show desktop mode content beautifully. To test page cloud, I brought up my website of Simply Art, which is built on the platform of WordPress. Since I'm not a developer like my very talented counterpart here, there are limitations that I have not being a developer on WordPress. So there are things that I would like to do on WordPress design wise that I don't know how to code. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, right? Okay. Hopefully so, Page Cloud seems like it can be that kind of thing. Right. So there are some things on WordPress that you have the capabilities of doing, but me not being uh, as well versed in code uh, have a difficult time doing. So I'm going to use Simply Art as a place to grab some graphics so that we can go back into page cloud and see how easy it is to really move around and work on this new platform i would like to see if this thing is going to actually be capable of making a website something that you can actually use rather than just a landing page like is it like i mean they know that they're coming in late to the game wordpress has been around for like 10 plus years mm -hmm. and so if they wanted to go after, like, say, the WordPress, can they import your WordPress database and then host it here? And then you can continue on with your blog and everything the way it worked on WordPress by using PageCloud. Can you set that up? I have no idea. I was actually clicking here on shortcuts and thinking it's like having to learn Adobe again, like having to learn the new shortcuts. Uh, let's just start playing with shapes. What are you? Are you a shape or are you are are you an image? Like an image holder. Hmm. Looks like it's a shape. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I do remember from the preview that you can um, take images from other websites. And I'm using dual screens right now, so you can't see that I just dragged off my logo onto another screen, but I did. And so now I'm going to take it from that other screen and drag it and see what happens when I drop it onto PageCloud. Ta-da! Imported very well. Ta-da! I see it's got Ooh. some snap feature. Click on it. You see the snap? Once. Okay. <clears throat> so, you could type in... That's your alt text. Yeah. 
a background image. Just you click on image. that if you want it to be a background image. Put it. See what happens. Uh, background position, top, bottom, left, right. Mm-hmm. That's where we're controlling it. You don't want it as a background. Background image. repeat. Background size. Cover. Auto. Okay. Let's take that out. Well, the funny thing is, is that <clears throat> they're telling you to choose from the options that you have in CSS. Mm-hmm. But if you understood what those options meant, you could probably write CSS. No. No. Do you know what designers do? This is what we do. You just keep clicking until you... it looks right? <laughs> that's what we do. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that's... I, I could see how you would think that would make sense. Go away, crazy thing. All right. So, we have our logo. How would you put in a navigation? How would you put in a navigation? I'm asking Page Cloud. <laughs> <laughs> I'm asking page cloud. Whoa, we got a big ass text. I clicked on the text box and I thought it was going to let me draw a box, but it actually just gave me a massive. You could shrink it and stuff. I just wanted to see if this is the easiest way to put in a navigation. Home. Shrinking it. Styles. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And make another one. Get another one. Get another one. Then we have a lot of homes. Mm-hmm. Looking to evenly space them. I was looking to evenly space them. Yeah, I was thinking the same thing. I want to grab all of my buttons here and space them. Sort of like you would use, I don't know, Photoshop, Illustrator, then design. Color range on the right. Alignment. No. Distribute. No. Maybe. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Like a boss. Good <laughs> job, Page Cloud. <laughs> Familiarity is good with these new things, don't you think? How to make a website using InDesign in your browser. <laughs> Want to see how easy it is to design. In fact, what happens if I put in a video? All right, I'm going to cut this part out, but I'm actually going to watch this tutorial on how you drag a YouTube video onto the page. There are a few. Okay. I can do that. Go away. Ta-da! Big ass video. But you could shrink it. Shrunk video. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay. <laughs> That's how it's going to look on mobile? That's how it's going to look on mobile. Oh, that I'm, looks great. I'm not sure if it's mobile responsive. <laughs> or if you have to actually, you know what I mean? What, tweak the mobile view? Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. That's already a big thumb down. Yeah. Page cloud. It makes me sad. I'm sad. I thought for sure when I purchased page cloud that that was one of the things that I had looked up because to me, a site is absolutely useless if it's not responsive. Like, absolutely useless. Like, 100% useless i get annoyed that your laptop is smaller than mine so if wait what does that have to do with anything <laughs> it means that if i'm looking jab, at jab 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 what does that have to do with anything? it means that if i'm looking at my website on your laptop if my website wasn't responsive and it didn't inch its little self in a little bit i would be pissed absolutely pissed and i'm certainly not going to get all old school and have to code all these different CSS pages to call in based on whatever size devices there are. Yes. Also, the point of Page cloud. responsive is the fact that <laughs> tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day, they're going to come Phones. out with so many more different sizes. Yeah. Phones went small. Now they're scaling up and they're getting big. 
and then they're gonna get small again because right now you can't, but maybe version three of the Apple Watch, you can probably view websites on it. Right. And that's gonna be a whole different type of browsing. And if you want your site to work from Apple Watch to iPad Pro <laughs> or dual screens, then it's gotta be responsive. It does. Forms, okay. Ooh, forms. Keep... I want to see how you make a form. I just want to see what the list said. Page Cloud integrates with many form mm -hmm. providers, like Wufu. When users fill out the form, the data is sent back to Wufu for reporting and storage. I don't like that. So they don't even do forms. No, they don't. Just and like, I really don't like that because... Just like WordPress and stuff, you got to go and get a plugin or right. Wufu or whatever. Right. Which really sucks though because the downfall of using Wufu for a graphic designer is that you don't know how to style the shit the way you want it. Well, hopefully once you put it in here maybe you can add some styling to it. You should it looked like you would be able to. So it kind of solves that. It why would you assume that? It it grabbed the button for Wufu. I didn't see any where it created a when just like when you dragged the YouTube video in, it created a video player. When you dragged the Wufu form in, it created a form. Right, but I don't know if it's going to be editable. Page yeah, page look at, it. at the end of it, it looks like it's like editable. And if not, just go make one. For see? recording and storage. Oh, we have to make a Wufu form. Do you have a Wufu account? I didn't uh, use Wufu. I used to. I, I used the one with the dinosaur. Is that Wufu? It said you can use any, any of them, or it said... It, works with a bunch of them. I don't know if you have, I don't think you have to use it. Ah, oh, the account. dinosaur. I have a Wufu account. Rawr, I love that. Wow. <laughs> I don't like Wufu. I use the one with the dinosaur. Oh, wait, it is Wufu. Wufu, yeah. I just knew it was the dinosaur. I, I totally Wufu. have. <laughs> I totally have a Wufu. They don't have a dinosaur. Wait, they have a dinosaur. <laughs> I just knew I used yeah, the one. Yeah, one form left. Just grab one of the forms you already have. I am. I'm going to do the Sharing Bravely online form. So... Go up. Advanced sharing methods. Right here. Iframe. Okay. See, we just grabbed the wrong one. All right. So now oh, we're grabbing. Unlike WordPress, which it says embed on WordPress, there's no embed on page cloud here to help you. Because it's so new. All right. We are grabbing the right embed code and we are Wait. dropping it onto the website and it's going to create it like a boss. All right. Now, now slap it down somewhere and see if you can edit it and make it look pretty. Yeah. God, how big is my form? Holy nonsense. So I don't know. Oh, because this is when people purchase my Dare to Share okay. training. Okay. So see if you can click into it or change it or anything. No, nope. it's just an iframe. It's just so in there. So you have to design it on Wufu. Okay. Okay. Hit save and view live. <clears throat> oh, I wasn't going to bust out the... Uh... Hit save and view live. I wasn't going to let you look at the code quite yet. I know that's what you're aching to do. Oh. You don't know. Go down. Media gallery. Oh, so this is what it means by media gallery? It has photos underneath the sign that says media gallery? Right. But there's no, what is it called? Light box or? Yeah. You can't view larger versions. You can't click on them. Mm -hmm. You can't click to go to a media gallery. Mm-mm. Which isn't good for a landing page either. It's just a um, wireframe. I mean, it's just a design. This is a really good thing to lay out some pages and give to your developer to have them actually make you a website. All right, let's get serious. So first impressions <laughs> of page cloud. Let's talk about the pros and the cons. Uh, let's start with the cons. That way we leave on a positive note. The cons. First and foremost, I don't see anything that uh, says that it is responsive. Yes, it does not appear to actually be responsive. It just has a desktop view and a mobile view that it appears to get by referencing the user agent. Right. Uh, the next con. It doesn't seem to have a way to build a proper navigation with rollovers and drop downs and just traditional nav type stuff. No, it appears you can put links onto some text and you can make some buttons, but that's about it. 
So we're going to give them the benefit of the doubt and ask them because they say you can start a conversation. So as we continue talking about the pros and cons and our first impressions <coughs> of Page Cloud, let's um, let's see how fast they get back to us, right? Okay. Is rollovers two words? If you wanted to be. Sure, why not? Is it hyphenated? Usually, Is there a way to make a navigation with drop downs and rollovers? Question mark. Smiley face. Enter. <laughs> All right, so while we're waiting for the Page Cloud team to respond, uh, where did we leave off? So cons, not responsive. No way to, in, at least intuitively, make buttons um, navigation. Right. The next con is you cannot create forms using Page Cloud. You can only embed from other sites, which defeats the purpose, in my opinion, of Page Cloud because you want to have complete control over the design. And Absolutely. I'm not a fan of normal form designs. Mm -mm. They're just big. Absolutely. I totally agree. That's terrible. Also, the way that <clears throat> when you embed the form, it treats it as a single object. So, um, you know, you couldn't just get the form, the form and, you know, break it apart and put it into pieces or anything like that. It's just one big form. Right. And you haven't even looked at the code. Would you like to look at the code? Would you like to see how SEO this is? Would you like to see how well built well, they, it turns it into. They have they had a video on SEO, so I think there's some SEO stuff you can do to make it better. Okay. But yeah, I haven't even looked at the code. Looked at the code, and I don't know. What was it? Command Alt I. Mm-hmm. Would you like to look? And this is one of their templates, not the ruckus one that we created. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Tell me if you see uh, unnecessary heft. <laughs> mm, yeah I mean all their styles are in line which is kind of weird as opposed to a CSS style sheet you mean? Yep. you must explain to the graphic design folk out there like me we don't know what you mean by all of the styles are in line we want this program because it takes the coding out of our hands. We are hoping that by giving control of the coding to Page Cloud instead of a developer that we are well taken care of. And that our website is built well. What website? This thing makes landing pages. We want our landing pages to be built well. <laughs> I think... That your landing page is built okay. I mean, it gets down to here and then it just kind of falls apart because it's not responsive. There you go. <laughs> hey, Lisa, we'll be looking to make a few different premium navigation menus shortly after we launch, including the options for drop downs and rollovers. Currently, though, it would require a bit of coding to do. We've been focused on building the framework for the platform currently, but are excited to shift focus a bit and start creating widgets after we launch. Okay. Sounds great. Will you also be supporting Wistia? Um, what else? What were some of the things that it wasn't supporting? Um, I mean, Wistia video embeds or <clears throat> or um, raw mp4 video embeds okay. probably just mp4 I don't know why I said raw but here we go uh, and will you be able to create forms directly in Page Cloud? Right? Mm -hmm. What else were we asking? Back to the pros and cons. So we've got our cons. What were our cons? Responsive, no nav. I mean, non responsive, no nav. Uh, you can't design out the forms, doesn't support other 
uh, video options other than YouTube and Vimeo, which to be nice, those are the major players out there, but still I want options. Technology is about looking forward and Wistia and MP4s using hosting sites like Amazon's S3 service, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Are things to look forward to. Um, another con is, uh, I didn't see anything. Well, actually we didn't even try it. The, how do you say it again? The parallax parallax parallax. No, um, it didn't look like there was any way to make a parallax site, nah. um, which is quite easy to do in WordPress based on whatever template you have. Um, I think those are enough cons, right? What other cons are like really <clears throat> blaring out? Oh, the uh, styles are inline. Well, yeah, but I mean, that's just a WYSIWYG thing. Um. So common. Yeah. Common. Okay. And obviously, if you were building a very large enterprise type site, Hell you no. probably wouldn't be using PageCloud, therefore have inline styles, right? And for those out there that don't know what inline styles versus having a separate style sheet, can you give us like a one sentence explanation as to why that's average but not the best way of doing it? Sure. When you put inline styles, the styles are attached to that element. So if you make a button and you put the styles in line, mm -hmm. then they only apply to that button. Mm -hmm. Whereas if you're using a CSS style sheet, then you can make multiple copies of the same button and have them all apply the same styles where you could go to one place and change 10 buttons. Whereas if the styles are in line, then you have to go to each button to change them individually. Right. Gotcha. Okay. Sounds great. Which is fine when you're using the WYSIWYG because you're going to click on that button and change it. Then you're going to click on another button and change it. But if you're actually coding a website, you don't want to touch each button. You want to go to your style sheet, develop five types of buttons, and then just use the different types. I think another con is, is that for a pure novice, right? Which I would assume they're marketing to, like just a graphic actually, designer. Actually, no. They said they were... They were um, they were marketing to graphic designers. Graphic designers and marketers, <laughs> yeah. neither of which are going to have a strong coding background. So I think another con would be that the templates that they provide didn't take the time to fix the mobile sites, like this one, for instance, that we're looking at right here. Yeah, you have to go in and hand groom the mobile sites. Which, which you would think the templates that it comes stock with would already be prepared for you. Yeah. So someone would have to go in and fix that. Yeah, you would think so. Wistia does a provide an ability for iframes, which you can access right here. Yes. Any service that exists within an iframe is quite easy to add into your PageCloud page. Simply copy the iframe code, paste it on your PageCloud site, and it will exist. Natively, we do not offer a built-in media player or form builder, but may look to add these in the f future. In the meantime, we'd recommend going through... Services like Vimeo, YouTube, or Wistia, as well as something like Google Forms or Wufoo for the forms. Will the launch version include the ability to make responsive sites versus the current mobile sites? Does that make sense to you? Mm-hmm. Okay. So we try that fix that? We're going to try... Yeah, and leave that one. Yes. We're going to try embedding Wistia one more time. You answered my own question. Tested the iframe in Wistia... It will work if you make it a fixed size, but it doesn't work with responsive iframes. Cool. Now make it a fixed size and put put it in there. So okay. he's got to redo his whole response. He's got to redo his whole response because I responded before he could respond. I'm sorry, Paul. <laughs> Paul, if you're watching this, I apologize. Okay. Oh, damn it. Why do I keep doing that? Because I'm not even on the website. There we go. Escape. Paste. Ta-da. What did you want to see? Save, put it somewhere, save and publish. Let me save and view live. And then I want to hit, see you hit play. Okay. Where would it be nice? Let's put it over here in some negative space. Mm-hmm. That looks funky. Funky. Okay. You want me to save it and you want me to see it. Okay. Play. Hello, friends. Welcome to Simply Art. Cool. My name it worked. Mm -hmm. Does the turnstile work? Of course it would, because it's just an iframe. So anything that mm -hmm. works in Wistia, it'll work. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Wistia turnstile works, which is why you need to have Wistia incorporated into PageCloud because it has really cool features like the turnstile feature mm -hmm. that allows you to do call to actions. If you're using this for business, which I would assume most people are. You got party eyes. So it's great for making one-offs and designing pages and making quick proofs of proof of concepts and you know giving them off to a real developer or if it's simple enough just publishing it yourself so it's great for the stuff like you know anything it's great for like any of the stuff that you would probably want to use like um landing pa lead land pages. lead pages for yeah. um there's Companies out there like Lead Pages, and then one of my favorites is Optimize Press. Mm -hmm. So those two, uh, those two services allow you to make landing pages. Mm -hmm. This looks like yet another one that allows you to make landing pages, but they have functionality and design. But they also work like WordPress, where if you're not a coder, you can't just start dragging and dropping stuff all over the place. So. It's a little bit more tied down than this is to design. But lead pages and optimized press have functionality to back it up. Mm -hmm. This one's just design. No coding. There you go. And how do you feel about that? <sighs> I just wanted to loop it back to the beginning when we were talking about design versus function. Ah. <sighs> How do you feel about this program now? Paul, all just designed. in time. Just in time, Paul. Why are you trying to change the subject? Shh. Paul has written us back. Glad to see the Wissy iframe worked. We're taking an adaptive approach to responsiveness at launch. Okay, that was real political. What does that mean? What does that mean, Paul? We're taking an adaptive approach to responsiveness at launch. Giving you the ability to make changes to your mobile mode in order to have it look the way you'd like your viewers to see it on their devices. That was real presidential. I'm pretty sure that means no, we are not going to have a responsive service. That's exactly what it means. It means right? this is how this it's is going it. to be. Mm -hmm. This is it. Okay. We'd recommend starting in desktop mode and building your full site there. Then flipping into mobile mode to make adjustments in order to get everything lined up properly for a better viewing experience in that mode. Which is also not how you're supposed to design websites properly. <laughs> By default, mobile mode will mimic what has been put into the desktop mode. Its intent is to then adjust and rearrange your page in order to fit it within the mobile view. We're currently looking into a few ways to help streamline this process and make it easier to create the exact view you'd like. And we'll likely have those fixes in place for our launch, if not a bit before. We've got a quick little video that Craig did to explain the philosophy behind this. If you'd like to take a look, I do want to take a look, Paul. Sure. I do. Paul, cheers. Ah, you took my shit, Paul. <laughs> That's how I log out. Cheers. Uh, no, that was awesome. Paul was awesome. I mean, first of all, okay, Their this customer goes support yes. is awesome. Can we put this into the pro? Yeah. Quick to respond, really quick. And really well thought out. Like, you know, most of these, uh, like, Q&A or, or um, what do they, support, they mm -hmm. obviously have, like, a Word document open on another screen and they're just copying and pasting responses. He's actually responding to me as a human. Mm -hmm. Now, of course, some of it is canned responses. Mm -hmm. Like, we're taking an adaptive approach to responsiveness <laughs> at launch. That's probably something that they have, you know, copied and pasted. But other than that. That is certainly a pro because it feels like I'm talking to a real person. I know from their website about page that they're a small team, right? Small, right? <laughs> Compared to obviously the masses that it takes to build things like this. Um, so and what's another What's another pro? Well, if you want to take a moment to get into a rant that you'll probably want to delete from this. <laughs> I may or may not delete the rant. Okay. Uh, what were some of the pros? Because we never finished the pros, other than Paul being amazing and their service being their customer support being service great. is excellent. Being right. able to <clears throat> drag and drop things is excellent. Great. Um, being able to just essentially paste anything in there um, is excellent. Being able to have the snaps and the lining and being mm -hmm. able to essentially just use this like well, they compared themselves to. Uh, 
PowerPoint and Keynote, but mm-hmm. to me, it feels more it feels more like InDesign or Illustrator. Like mm-hmm. um, but being able to just use it like that, but also from the click of a button, you know, two clicks of a button, hit save and then view live to actually have a live website that can actually be a good uh, design that you can actually use for a landing page or something that you can use as a proof of concept for um, giving to a developer. If this were a proto, right? If this were a prototype program, this would be amazing. This is an amazing prototype program, or but it is not a web builder, or an amazing landing page builder. But it is not a website builder. I also think there is no mm -hmm. way of making a site. It has no situational awareness of other pages. It is single page design only. If you're into if you're in the single page site, actually, you know what? Skip that. It's not even good for single page sites. No, because you can't scroll. I mean, you can't. There's no navigation to anchor. Well, you could write that in. Well, again, I'm thinking. You, no, you can't. Never mind. You can't write that in because you you saw that it kicks it out. No, no, you can write in anchors and stuff. Yeah, you can write that stuff in. No, not an anchor, but like a scroll feature when you click on an anchor and it drags you down to the page. Like oh. a fluid motion, not no, a jump. It'll jump, yeah. Right. Um, yeah, so it's not even good for that because usually if you're going to do a single page site, it has a lot of features in JavaScript and stuff like that, like parallax. In order it's to make eye it, candy. In order single to make pages it, are eye candy. In order to make it eye candy. This doesn't really do eye this candy. This is like 1990. I mean, it's all. It's very flat design. Wait. In addition to the full multi-page site you'll be able to create, how do you create a multi-page site on here? You'll also receive access to a single page personal site that is yours to keep after launch. Where well, do you the, where do you make the full multi page site? I'm not sure. Maybe And it looks like they actually want you to build a site. Like you can't just be cranking out pages. This is supposed to be your very own page. Right. So right now they're showing we have access to the personal page. So I guess, yeah, right now. And when they launch, they're going to have a few navigation buttons. For making a site. Multi-site. Right, a multi-page site. Correct. Okay. So right now that feature is just not available. Correct. Okay. So. But we'll even see. when that feature is available, I it's don't. It's still not even going to be like drop downs and nice stuff. I still don't see this being as amazing as I was hoping it was going to be. No. Um. Yeah. I was, I, I, again, going into this, I said, I hope it is that amazing. I very much doubt it will be. Um, Any final thoughts before we close out our video? I hope it gets better. I hope it gets better too. The customer service is awesome. The company seems great. I hope they get better. And I'm sure there are lots of people out there that would really love this program. I mean, if you're really bare bones, basic. I mean, there are ways to use this. Like, um, I was going to use their multi-page site, since you only get one, as a way to create multiple landing pages. It would just be all on that site. But I would link to each page would be a different landing page for me. Because for me, I see this more as a landing page feature as I do a full, well-rounded website. Because my website... My websites are too meaty, too juicy, and this isn't going to handle what I need my websites to do. Yeah. Alrighty, friends. I hope that you have enjoyed this very strange rant slash first impressions of Page Cloud. I am Lizette Markham from Simply Art, and I am Brian Markham. He's Brian Markham. But if you want to see him, come to Simply Art. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers. <laughs> I forgot my water. <laughs> and we're live. <laughs> <laughs> we're not live. This gets edited.